Century Age of Ashes is a free-to-play dogfighting dragon game. <laughs> it's kind of weird to explain this, but basically the premise behind it is you're you're flying around this dragon and you're fighting other dragons in dogfights, similar to something you would see in War Thunder and even capturing objectives similar to almost like Battlefield-ish. Not really exactly, but it is a PvP game, so I guess we could kind of compare it to that. I don't know. But it's also available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PS5, everything. So it's on all the stuff and it's on Steam. So anyways, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to do the tutorial because I want to see what, what's going on. Like, I don't want to just get thrown in immediately. Since this is a PvP game, I want to know what I'm doing. All right, so the controls, it just automatically turns when you aim. But it would be so much better if it actually showed where the reticule is. Wow, the graphics are amazing, though. Um, I think this is probably a game that's best played with like a controller or something. So let me try it. I feel like it would be the best to play with a controller. Okay. All right. That feels good. All right. Yeah, it's much better with a controller. It automatically flies in a direction, but you speed up and you also could break. Uh, fill up your stamina by flying over energy rifts. Oh, these are the energy rifts. Damn, I don't like these lag spikes. Whoa. Oh, okay. I can actually crash into things. Yeah, it's so much better to play with a controller. Like you definitely like I could see I could see this being really good with a joystick, like playing it with the, the whole task. That'd be nice. All right, let's do it. First real match. All right, how do we play this game again? <laughs> I already forgot my tutorial. Whoa, lag spike. Holy shit, yo, I'm getting raped immediately. All right, these guys are uh, cheating. I'm just going to say that right away. Oh, I killed somebody. Oh, shit, really? Oh, let's help this guy out. Oh shit, I'm getting raped. Oh man. Yo, this game is not easy. Hit him with the AoEs! Got one. Damn. It was too late. This game is giving me like a For Honor vibes with the way they set up their rounds. Oh shit. Oh my god, I can't fucking drive through the thing. I was trying to drive through that tunnel. There's always the same guy that kills me every time. Damn it. I was trying to get away. Oh. Ah. Oh my god. How do you do like a backflip roll? That's what I need to do. Barrel roll, something. Uh, what's the. Like. There, there's a term for it. The one, the backflip one, not a barrel roll, but a backflip one. Oh my god. I couldn't see what the hell was happening, like, at all. Well, this game is a little bit more rewarding than uh, Halo Infinite. I'm actually getting a level for losing. A new egg. Here you can e Equipped uh, dragon egg, prove your worth and complete missions. Okay, so it's a battle pass. All right, so let me see what this is. The shop, cash shop. Is this game pay to win? Let's see. Legendary Ulmon Frost Howler egg. What is this? For some reason, it almost feels like you were meant to find this egg you know, by swiping my credit card. I don't know what these eggs are exactly. If it's actual dragon with actual abilities because if it is then this game is already pay to win if that's the case so i'll have to see classes there's new classes coming and that's already a part of the shop so that means pay to win again all right so this game is already starting to aim down the route of pay to win um buying gems buying boosters xp boosters this game just came out today i think 
So for them to add XP boosters is already like stupid pay to win. Like it's it's like why like why would you it's I hate when developers do this, man. They're just setting themselves up for failure every single time. Because like literally, if the game just came out, all you're telling me is that you purposely made it grindy so that I have to go into this thing and feel like I'm actually, you know, getting more progress because like of course you would sell me an XP booster, you know, like that's fucking dumb. So there's only three classes as of right now. And then eventually they're going to sell you classes. There's skins. And then there's these that are questionable. These dragon eggs are very questionable. Yeah. Free to play games are expensive. Like if you wanted to buy everything on a cash shop for these type of games, you'll be spending thousands of dollars versus like just paying 60 bucks for a game. All right. So what does this ability do? Oh, I can go invisible. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I got to take the coins back to treasure it. I didn't know that. Okay. So this is like similar to like almost like a battlefield kind of round. There we go. I kill one. I don't even know what the fuck happened at all. But I guess we won. It would be so much cooler if there was like a PVE stuff. Because this is a really cool concept. I like the, you know, it's it feels really good to fly and stuff. Like it, it feels really good to do the combat and all that. I just, I kind of wish that there was, you know, like a story to it. Like some kind of campaign mode where you can like, you, you have like a bunch of uh, uh, like a big war happening. And then you come in swooping in to like destroy some of the infantry and stuff like I don't know, like that would be cool. Okay, so my final thoughts on this game. I'm gonna do the typical review style of showing the good and also the bad to this game. So let's start with the good. It's free to play, so you can't go wrong. Just go ahead and download it and it's available everywhere. So go ahead and do it. The graphics are beautiful in this game. It's using the Unreal 4 engine and it looks great the entire time. The controls are really hard to get used to at first, but once you get the hang of it, it feels really rewarding. And that's the thing I really like about this game. The gameplay itself feels really satisfying from throwing fireballs at, at your enemies to burning them down with like the flamethrower breath. It's just all really cool. And this is not a bad start for a small development team that is working on this since they only have two games available, this one and also uh, an RTS, I believe it is. I'll have to check out their other game, but they did a really good job with this and I'm looking forward to see what they do with it in the future. Now let's talk about the bad. It definitely needs more performance optimization because there's a lot of moments where I was stuttering or like the game would like freeze up for a second or two. and. In a PvP focused game like this, it can definitely be a huge, huge problem. There is a very, very questionable cash shop in this game. A lot of things seem really pay to win, especially down the line. It looks like their future is to sell you classes. So if that's the case, the, these classes each have their own ability types and, and ways to play them. And they're also selling you XP boosters. It's already starting to head into that pay to win route. It definitely touches that. And uh, that can be a big turnoff for people that just want to jump in and play a nice PvP game. There's no PvE or a story mode. I don't know if they have this later down in the pipeline. It would be really cool to see what they could do with that if they do it. But it seems like the focus of this game is definitely PvP and, and more of an eSport type of feel. Overall, though, I'm, I definitely recommend this game. It's definitely really fun. It's nice to jump into and just kind of blow stuff up. Personally, is it a game that I'm going to continue to play? Probably not. But I'll definitely revisit it probably in about, you know, six months to a year just to see what they did with it. And I'm mainly interested to see what they're planning to do with that cash shop because it's looking really fishy right now. So if they decide to push through and add like paid characters and, and dragons that perform better than others, that's like super pay to win. And that can be a huge problem. Thanks to all my supporters here on YouTube. You guys are awesome. But anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.